They came to Parliament to pour scorn on those inside. They chanted thieves, which is how many Greeks feel about their politicians. But as the crowd pushed their way up the steps of Parliament, the police fought back with tear gas. All the time, a large orderly crowd was still filing into the square. Away from the violence, it's important to remember that large numbers of Greek people have come out today and demonstrated peacefully about their economic concerns. And this is the largest demonstration since this crisis began, what, four or five months ago. But events moved fast and took a very ugly turn. Soon, vicious battles were breaking out across the city. All this in the heart of a major European capital. Well, this march began peacefully, but you can see what is now happening outside the Greek parliament. Of course, these scenes increase the political pressure on Prime Minister George Papandreou and their evidence of the social tensions in Greece at the moment. Not far away, the authorities say this bank was set on fire by people throwing Molotov cocktails. Violence in Athens rarely results in serious injury, but in this building, the fire brigade found three bodies. Elsewhere, many people have been injured and there's been widespread vandalism. Parliament is due to vote this week on the austerity measures. A majority will surely support the government, but Greece, divided by despair and anger, is in turmoil. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, Athens.